Welcome to the Joy of Dwarven Painting, Kickstarter edition. I'm Erin, and I'm going to walk you through our hellscape paint scheme. Our lava pieces are cast in translucent yellow, so it glows under a light panel. For the first step, you need to base coat the parts of the piece that you don't want to glow. I'm going to take Bacorny Paints white and carefully paint over the stones, avoiding the cracks and lava flow. You use white and not black because the white prevents light bleed without affecting the light bounce. Light hits the white and bounces it back inward and allows the piece to radiate more beautifully. Hashtag science. When you're done with it, it should look like this. I'm only painting the 4x4 lava wall, but if you were to paint the banks, you would avoid the cracks and this pool up top. And on the lava river, you paint only where you see stone, also avoiding the cracks. Once the white has dried, you're going to want to do a wash over the cracks. For this, I'm going to be using Golden's Transparent Wine in the color Nafal Red Light and the Transparent Hansa Yellow Medium. I like these paints because they are already translucent, so I don't need to make a wash with high flow acrylics. What you want to do is take a big brush, dip it in some water, and then dip it into your transparent mixture, and then you're just gonna like go over the edge of the lava pools, as well as all the cracks. And don't worry if you get it in the beginning of the lava flow, you're gonna go over that later anyway, so you don't have to be super precise about it. And then once you're done with that, it's gonna look something like this. So everything, the edges of the lava and the cracks are filled in with the, the transparent paint mixture that you made. The next step, you're gonna blend in some, a mixture of transparent yellow into the orange. You don't have to do this, but if you apply it when the wash is still wet, like it looks more natural because you're applying wet to wet and it, it blends better. You just go in with a wet brush. You don't even have to clean the brush from before because it's really, it's supposed to blend together. And you just go in in certain areas and like add some yellow. This is what it should look like. It looks very messy, but th keep in mind, you're gonna go over all the stone area with the black, but it's important that you let this dry because if you don't, uh, especially when you add the black, it's gonna like pool out and become very messy very quickly. Yeah, and then the next step, you're gonna use um, Bacorny Paint Black, and we're gonna fill in all of the stonework around the lava pool, avoiding the cracks. One of the reasons this takes so long is because you have to be very precise and not get it in the cracks. But also, especially for this black step, you need two to three coats, sometimes more in certain areas to avoid light bleeding. You only need to worry about light bleeding if you get the light panel, which you should get because it looks epic. And then once you've gone all around, it looks something like this. You can see I painted in all the stone. Um, I brought it up a little bit higher though, because when you go over it with the, the next color, uh, it helps with the blending to go up a little bit higher. Once the black is done, you're going to want to paint the remainder of the wall with Dungeon Gray, which is the color our Dungeon of Doom and Caverns Deep pieces are cast in. At the point where they meet, do a mild dry brush to blend the two colors together. It should look like this. To paint the stalactites and the walls, you're going to want to use Picorni Paints Earthstone. And you can paint in a rock or two on the top. Once that's dried, you're going to want to dry brush the cave wall with Dungeon of Doom and Caverns Deep Dry Brush. It's a mixture of Bacorny Paint's Cavern Dry Brush and School Bus. For tips on how to dry brush, check out our tutorial on YouTube. Once you get to the black uh, line, you just kind of go over like you would a dry brush just to blend it so it's not like this hard edge. Using the same technique, use Bacorny Paint's Base Gray and dry brush the lava stones. Cool, and then you're done with all the stone. All that's left is adding a little color to the lava flow. We're going to be using Nafal Red Light again. You want to paint the outer edges completely red. Then you want to fan the red out towards the center. Next, you're going to want to create an orange from the red and the yellow transparent paints. 
And then somewhere in the middle of where you did the red, you're just gonna wanna go in and add some orange. And fan it out further than the red, continuing towards the center, leaving the hottest parts yellow. Once you've finished, then it should look like this. I hope this helps and makes your decision as to whether to get painted or unpainted easier. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and maybe even pledge our Kickstarter. Now, back to the anvil.